This is the greatest error in the history of the human race, and I never engage in hyperbole. Do you foresee this happening again yes. and again there's and no, again there's in no, the future? There's no doubt in my mind. In the name of health, you can suppress liberty in America. This is just the first time they will do it for global warming. About one third of mom and pop businesses will go out of business. So therefore, whereas you now had Jerry's restaurant, you will now have another chain, uh, another Subway, uh, a, another um, Chipotle uh, or, or what have you. So you will still be able to eat, but it will end the uh, or begin to end the ability of people to run what we really enjoy, which is a local restaurant where you know the people, they know you, where the food is better than at a chain. And so uh, the, the country will be run by gigantic businesses. And the only reason this happened is because of the people who said 2.2 million Americans will die. So far, 50,000 have. And if you believe it's because of the lockdown, I have a bridge for you. Because uh, Sweden didn't have a lockdown and, and it has a tiny percentage more deaths than we do. The United Nations, the UN, which I'm not a fan of, the UN just issued a report Nicholas Kristof reported this, big liberal uh, columnist, New York Times. Three dozen countries will experience famine because of this lockdown. The number of people who will die because of the lockdown may be greater than the number of people who die because of the of the illness. It's it's a trap. What is happening in the world because of this idiocy? India, a billion, three hundred million people lock, sends people out of work in the hundreds of millions. 800 people have died in India. There are probably more people who were run over by, by cows in the course of a year in India. That was a joke for the record. This is the greatest error in the history of the human race, and I never engage in hyperbole. Thank God for Sweden, because that's why the quote unquote experts, they are the most overrated group of humans on earth. Experts are almost all idiot savants. They know their field and they have no wisdom. So they are worthless, worse than worthless. Two million prediction of deaths in the United States and everybody panic. I think that uh, the belief in America that if you make a lot of money, you have wisdom uh, is one of the stupidest notions the human species can hold. There is no relationship between making a ton of money and wisdom. You are only good at one thing, which is fine. I don't knock it. You're good at making money. In life, it's a, it's a rule. It's very hard to do something the first time. It is very easy to do something the second time. That's a rule of life. This is just the first time they will do it for global warming. Because remember, this is just 50,000 or 80,000 Americans, but they believe that climate change, AKA global warming is existential. It's an existential threat, meaning a threat to the existence of the human race, not not to 80,000, the human race. So if we could close down people's work and livelihood for, for 80,000, we can certainly do it for the human race. Do you foresee this happening again yes. and again there's and no, again in no, the future? There's no doubt in my mind. The ignorance is created by the panic of the most irresponsible institution on earth, the media. 24 seven news is a curse. I don't watch, I am happy. I listen to music, I read constantly. I know more about this virus than the vast majority of lay people. I have to, I have to report on it three hours a day on my radio show. I have to write about it in my column. I am up on this issue. I follow it avidly. And uh, the risk is minuscule if you are healthy. You will, you will prob you may well get it. Not probably, you may well get it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The 80% of the people who get it don't even know it. By the way, I'll give you another example of how Americans are misled. They're constantly told, oh, the number of cases is skyrocketing. The number of cases, do you people not realize that the more people who actually have had this, the better it is. It shows you how few people die. Let's say we have a thousand people died in a given state. What's better? that a million had the disease 
or a hundred thousand had the disease obviously a million so the the number oh my god look at how many cases sweden hopes it had the whole country had cases then they're immune the number of cases is not a bad thing the number of deaths is a bad thing here is the key to becoming an adult most for your young listeners here's a revelation most people never become adults they they grow they get older but they don't become adults you become an adult when you decide to become an adult one of the keys of being an adult is to always ask this question what is the price a child doesn't understand that an adult should everything comes with a price if you get married what is the price of marrying what is the price of staying single what is the price of having children what is the price of not having children that is the mature way to lead life always ask what is the price of putting tens of millions of americans out of work what is the price of not 